guys so today's video is gonna be a little different from the rest of my videos I know like they're pretty much like everywhere at this point but I ended up doing this keto thing right yes I jumped on the keto bandwagon and my my co-workers and my friends they've been doing it and I was always just like, you're going to hurt yourself. Like, that's not safe. Like, don't deprive your body. But, like, I really I really didn't know what I was talking about. I still don't even know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but uh, I actually hopped on the keto bandwagon a week before New Year's. But I didn't want to say anything because I didn't know how things were going to go. I didn't want to just be like, hey, ride with me on this keto journey and then me not follow through. So I wanted to see how I was going to do with it first and then let y'all know, like, you know, my little progress. Now, I don't know if y'all notice because, you know, y'all don't really see me all the time. But, um... So, I started off at 169 and I currently am at 157.6. Um, like I said, I've been on it, like, I started a week before New Year's. Happy New Year's, by the way. I'm so sorry. But, um, yeah. So, today, I'm going to start off by doing a keto pasta but without the pasta it's gonna be with zucchini so i went ahead and i went to my local heb and i picked up this okay so i picked up these zucchini noodles right here and I've had them before, but at the time when I've had them, like it's been a while, they didn't really have like any flavor to them. So I was like, why not like spruce them up and like try to add like cheese or, you know, stuff you could have on keto. So I was thinking about doing like a creamy, like a creamy, cheesy, like pasta with bacon. I also ended up getting some um, of this sugar-free bacon. I've already opened it because, you know, your girl got to eat breakfast. So. What did I do with it? So, yeah. Let me close this. I got this at my local HEB and it's no sugar bacon. So, yeah. I've been trying really hard to like watch my macros and everything. and But my man, he makes it kind of hard for me because I love freaking pizza. Like pizza is my shit. Okay. And... I literally cried because I couldn't have pizza and I've been wanting to try this whole little cauliflower pizza but I don't know I just I I just haven't done it yet but I freaking cried you, you can ask him so my man ended up getting me this Fitbit watch and it's a Fitbit charge 3 and that's Alexis in the back Armani's still asleep it is 10.03 and the kid is still asleep. My man ended up getting me this Fitbit watch. It's a Fitbit charge. It's a Fitbit charge three and I could track like my miles, my steps, my heart rate, all that good stuff. So it helps, you know. I think I hear him in the back. I think he's about to come in a little bit. Hi. Say good morning, guys. Good morning, guys. <laughs> Say bye. Bye. So, got that and that. I just end up adding some chicken in there because yesterday I ended up making a chicken salad. And uh, 
I boiled a lot of chicken, so we'll just use what we have left. We'll probably add some of that in there. I was thinking about making like, you know, my family like just regular chicken spaghetti because I obviously have this stuff over there. I'll probably just use like maybe like one tender for me and then the rest I'll just chop up for them. And then what else do we have? Oh, to make our little, why do I keep leaving this open? So, to make our little creamy sauce, I'm going to end up using this heavy whipping cream right here. And I like to use this because it has zero carbs and zero sugar. Whoop, whoop. So, I have both of these cheeses. They're both mozzarella. Just one's a shredded one, and then the other one's a block. So, most likely I'll end up using the block. So let's get started on making our little keto little dish so we can eat because your girl's hungry. Okay. Woo. Boop. So first guys, I'm just going to start with my bacon because whatever fats that are going to be from this bacon is what I am going to use later on for my little cheese sauce. So I just got two, two slices of bacon and I cut them in half and this is all I'm going to use for my little zucchini pasta and I really probably won't even use all of it because I want to do another meal with the zucchini. I'll probably do that one tomorrow. So if you guys don't have tongs, like these are probably like my favorite utensil to use in the kitchen. And I think I just like going like this. But this is what I use to grab my bacon and stuff. And like my chicken. I just got the block cheese and I just went ahead and cut it up in like these thin strips. So that it will save a little bit more time. And you don't have to like watch me cut cheese. Get it? Cut the cheese. I also went ahead and shredded that one tender. So that's what I also did. Now I'm just going to go ahead and grab my bacon strips because they're all done and I'm just going to place them with this chicken. It's all going to go together anyways. Now I don't feel like dirty in another dish. So we have that. Now I'm just going to go ahead and I am going to start putting my cheese. Now I'm just going to start putting my cheese in here. Letting it melt, and I know it's gonna start sticking to the pan. Hopefully, it doesn't because of that grease. But I'm just gonna go ahead and put in some heavy cream. I didn't measure it out, I probably should have, but I didn't. Now, I'm just gonna turn the heat a little bit up, not too high. I'm just going to start stirring this together. This is like heavenly right here. So as this cheese starts to melt and you don't want it to like burn in your pan. So we're just going to keep moving it around. But, ooh. Oh my gosh. I don't know if y'all are like me, but I freaking love cheesy, cheesy stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and add some black pepper. Or it actually says garlic pepper, so. So we're gonna add some garlic pepper to this. 
and let it get all like melty and cheesy, but we gotta keep stirring it so it doesn't like burn. And right now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and add my chicken just so that it'll warm up because my chicken was in the fridge. So I'm just going to go ahead and let that get all cheesy and whatnot. And guys, my chicken was not seasoned because I don't know. I just boil it and then whenever I use it in like other I use it in like other stuff like this I feel like it already like gets its flavor so now for the fun part I'm gonna go ahead and add my little zucchini noodles and these you do not want to leave them in there for too long oh my god you don't want to leave them in there for too long because then they end up getting like all like mushy and nobody wants mushy noodles. So I'm just going to cut half of it because it's just me eating healthy here and nobody else. I'm going to turn my heat down because it's kind of high. I'm over here telling y'all don't put it on high and <laughs> mine's on high. What would you call this? Like an Alfredo, an Alfredo zucchini pasta? Pasta without the pasta. I can't wait till the end when we garnish it with like parsley and bacon. Oh my gosh, it looks so delicious. Mind you, I haven't ate pasta, like I said, since like a week before, a week before New Year's. Oh my gosh. Honey, get in my belly. some of that good chicken on there so guys now I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm going to garnish my little dish with some parsley and I am going to crumble my bacon on top of this Remember guys, no sugar bacon, no carbs, no sugar zucchini, no carbs, no sugar whipping cream or heavy whipping cream and no carbs. What else do we use? No carbs, no sugar cheese. And of course, Yuri, no chicken. That was just one strip. I'm on my second strip. That's going to be a good amount of protein. Right here. It looks so delicious, man. Just want to go ahead and eat it and just stop crumbling this bacon. And this is a tiny plate, too. So... It's not like I'm overeating. Like, I don't want you guys to think like, oh, she filled up her whole plate with this little pasta or whatever. Or this little zucchini pasta because it's a really small plate. Like, it's the size of my hand. You see? Small plate. So. <laughs> So now, guys, it is time for a taste test. 
This is my first time making this, by the way, so I might need to add some salt. I might need to, who knows? But let's go in on this little bad boy right here. So, cheers. Mm-mm. Mm. Delicious. So yes, this is a delicious little meal. I'm not gonna lie to you. It doesn't taste like pasta. I wanna I wanna tell you like zucchini, it doesn't have a flavor to it, but it has a different texture. Like this is gonna be a more dense type. You know, depending on how long you cook it. I didn't cook mine long because I did. I don't like mushy foods. That's just how I am. So mine is a little bit more dense, you know. Also, on the amount of time you cook it for. So say if I would have put more. So say like if I would have put more cheese in it. Or if I would have just left it sitting on low for a little bit longer, my little cheese, little sauce that I made, it wouldn't be so like, like runny. It's not watery, but it wouldn't be runny, you know? Me, I'm just hungry, so I'm just going to go in. So one thing that I was scared of was I was going to go into this keto diet and I was going to have to eat these really, really bland foods that had no flavor to them and that I was just going to end up, you know, chickening out and not following through. But there's actually, there's actually quite a bit of things that you can do, you know. Like, I found a way to make a keto ice cream, and I'll share that with you as well. I don't know. I'm just so excited to, like, start doing this so I could start doing my videos also on my nutrition and my health as well, not just makeup, you know, because anybody can do makeup, honestly. But I know that I've, I wanted help on my keto journey and so I've started it, you know, it's not, it's not over yet. I've talked to like my friends about it, like I said, and the way they tell me is like, Brie, you have to make it your lifestyle. Just set it in your mind that it's your life lifestyle. I made a vision board because I love to watch um, Amber Scholl's YouTube channel. And she's always making vision boards. So what I did was I ended up making my own vision board and I just put a picture of what I used to look like. And this is whenever I just had a mirror. I didn't have Armani or Alexis. So, um, yeah, I, um, girl, my body was it. And I wish I could get back to that size. I want to so bad. Uh, but yeah, that's why I'm trying this little keto thing. I've tried other diets before and they didn't work out. I'm not saying that keto is something that I'm going to be on for life. You know, I just have to put it in my head like it's going to be my lifestyle, you know. And I feel like now that I've started it, like it's. It was hard at first, but it's getting better. It's getting easier. And I'm finding meals that I like, stuff that I would have never thought I would have tried. So if you like these videos, let me know and I will continue. So thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you are notified when I upload. Bye.